Lucas, how's that look? How's that look? Does that look good, dude? Is it beautiful? Wait, can we go ahead and get those thumbs in the frame? Go ahead and put those thumbs in the frame, please. Yep, big Thank thumbs up, you, guys. Lucas, and we're rolling on the podcast. Welcome back to Beyond the Pine. You feel like you just saw us. We feel like we just saw you. you. And nice to meet you. Gun shot. You're Gun. dead. Also shot. I'm mirroring you. Audio I'm, listeners, the, I'm, I the, just, I'm the alien from Annihilation. Everything you do, I do better. Everything that you do, I can check it. <laughs> Sorry, I was just trying to suck on the stick. Dude, imagine that. So you saw Annihilation, right? I think so. Just re- very quickly, a little tangent here. Annihilation, someone with Natalie Portman, where they go into the shimmer. And there's like, everything's kind of like genetically like evolving yes. and shit. And at the end, that she's, wall? spoiler alert, yes. Yeah. At the end, she's confronted with the the alien that like, the stone is aliens. literally like mirroring her and becoming yeah. her. Here's a cheat code. Instant 69. Oh my God. You suck it. It sucks the. Literally, I wouldn't do that. Why? You wouldn't want to suck off a complete copy? I wouldn't want to suck my own dick. Well. Of yourself? You know what? If there was one dick in the world I would suck, it would be my own. For sure. Wow, dude. But here's the thing. You're going to say that right in front of me? I don't think I would give myself, I don't think I would give good head. Therefore, I don't think that copy of me would give me good head. Dude, the entire time. Both of us? It mirrors that too. We both hate it. Oh, fuck. I can't. Fuck. We're going to, we're going to come. Fuck. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. (laughs) In transit. And the first stop, destination arrived. Please, please, we're landing Your in Uber's my. Here. We're landing in my. I'm cum. only gonna wait for two minutes. Okay, roll on rehearsal. And action rehearsal. Action. Welcome back to episode two hundred thousand two fifty three or two fifty four. Wow, you guys. Let's all every once in a while, once we hit like a milestone, which this isn't a milestone, but right. we'll hit like a certain number that just goes, "Wow, we've done this for so fucking long," and that's so cool. Two hundred and fifty three weeks with maybe max. Four weeks that we didn't do a podcast. We never. Oh, f- like a, a time we did, and that was in the old days. Since we yeah. fucking ran the ship, dude. We've not. We've we've been late. We've been late, but, but that's because, because your boys are busy. Literally and we're following, following our, dreams, our dreams. Yeah, and we've been shooting nonstop and planning nonstop and working nonstop the past week. And God bless our sponsors and Rooster Teeth yes. for um, allowing us to have that leniency the flexibility. And you guys for for you know uh, putting up with not putting. It's not that big of a deal, but for not uh, being upset by uh, uh, s- uh, lately. You know, yeah. some late episodes. It's not, to, we're not literally at home playing Fortnite, jerking off. That is, I do that for three hours because I'm streaming. But other than that, jerking off. following our fucking dreams, making music, making films, um, and everything that goes into that for you guys and for us, obviously. So thank you for uh, being patient with us with this yeah, podcast. No, genuinely. Um, and, yeah. and, and you guys know that we love you and we Appreciate wouldn't be able you, to do this without you. Um, and that we have a great time doing it. You know, I'd be like, homeless if it wasn't for you guys watching this. So if you leave and you don't listen or watch the podcast anymore, my blood's on your hands, bro. Yeah. Think about that saying? next time you're jerking off. Idiot. Oh, I made this guy go homeless. Okay, Maybe man. I hey, better stop. It's all right. Sorry, bro. It's all right. I know you're getting worked up. I know you're getting, I know you're getting emotional. What are you looking at over there, man? Oh, shit, dude. You can't oh. leave now. Someone Dude, they're they're fucking putting up tape and locking us in here like in uh what's that terrible doing? horror? No, they just spent the whole morning cleaning up the window. Oh, he's cleaning so up the dog. He's cleaning. Cool. Cool. No, what's that? What's that movie that in the, uh, in the first place? So, uh, guys, a little bit about me. A little bit about I have James. a big ass fucking they're literally building a back house in my backyard and Months. they've been doing this since fucking like a year? Like eight, uh, February or fucking yeah. March, like for so long, so over it. Yeah. Um, for real. And you know what? And that's all I'm going to say about that. There was a time where I woke up at 7 a.m. and they were literally sawing, sawing with a fucking buzzsaw concrete from the back all the way to the front of the driveway. I was here which for one is of at least mornings. a mile. And at what time did they do that, James? What, around I 1 or 2 p.m.? It was about 7 a.m. They do it at 1 or 2 p.m.? No, right when uh, you wake 11, up at 7 a.m. 11 a.m.? 7 a.m. In the what, morning? Like 10 a.m.? 7 a.m. Jesus Christ, yep, man. Right, yeah. right when you wake up. There was a time I was sleeping here. Uh, and 15 minutes before your alarms set. Quite literally, I was sleeping right here and James warned me about it. I was like, it can't be that bad. It's this fucking rotating blade saw. <coughs> cutting into the fucking. Literally in concrete. It's the loudest, most hours. high-pitched screeching noise. And they do it for two hours. And look, I understand you have a job to do. And I'm not, it's nothing personal. It's personal. But I'm going to follow you home. 
And make it personal. And make it personal. And I'm going to just have a, just a little tiny piece of glass, and I'm going to just scratch on that glass right outside your bedroom. Oh, yeah. And, and I'm going to be perfectly camouflaged. I have the cloak of invisibility. Can I be perfectly naked with you, James? Sure. I went outside. Can you turn me up a little bit? I, I, I have it perfectly dialed. Okay. I have it perfectly dialed. Because yours, yours can be brought up, and I, mean, I right. equalize them. And so that right. you, when you peek... Yeah, I'm not even worried go, about it. You go, womp, 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 go womp, 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 womp. womp. Little no, one. no, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. What were you saying? I was just saying that when I was here with uh, uh, myself sleeping on your couch, not even fondling myself yet, um, I woke up in the morning and it was before my alarm and just the loudest fucking sound, man. And they do that shit for two hours. I don't understand why they don't, because they have other shit that they're doing, right? But does that have to be the first thing they do at 7 a.m.? That's what I, does that's it what literally I was have saying. To like, be? I, I understand you have a job to be done, but don't do that at 7 a.m. Don't do that at 7 a.m. Do that at 10 a.m. Do that at 10 a.m. Lucas got so mad the other morning. It was so early. Um, he woke up and they were fucking just yelling and talking and hooting and hollering. And it was probably like 8 a.m. or 6 a.m. or some shit. And Lucas just goes, uh, uh, ding, 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 on the window. And they immediately shut the fuck up. It was quite humorous. I'm going to turn me down. Because look, you got to understand. You got to understand. And it's easy to forget this. And this happens on set all the time. All the you time, You know, when we're man, fucking shooting at a house or something. Yeah, we're shooting at a house and we feel like it's our little world, but the house next to us, the house on the other side, the house behind, have some goddamn there, respect. there's people, right? So like you, yeah. you get caught up in the moment. So it's, it's literally like nothing personal against them because they're just doing their fucking job and trying to have a good time doing it. But yeah, just got to remind them every once in a while. Yeah, we live here. But they do have B cups. That's Oh tight. yeah. Perfectly. Mm. The perfect little puppies. Mm. Yeah. Thank you so much to our sponsor, HelloFresh, for supporting us today on Beyond the Pine with HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasoned recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip the trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking fun, easy, and affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit, okay? Choose from 55 weekly options featuring pre-portioned high-quality ingredients picked uh, at peak ripeness. Um, HelloFresh delivers fresh quality produce from the farm right to your doorstep in less than a week so you can savor summer flavors right from home. Going away this summer? Update your delivery address and enjoy HelloFresh on your vacation destination with just a click. Plans are flexible, so they work with your changing schedule. You guys, I have um, had the absolute pleasure of having HelloFresh send me um, a bunch of meals. Uh, they wanted to, to, you know, re-up my fucking belief. And it was so amazing, dude. Better than fucking ever. I, I didn't even know that they were getting even more delicious and better. But I got a bunch of meals. One of them was like this pasta, this like chicken pasta thing. It was amazing. I got burgers and uh, Dylan and I got to cook together and make uh, a lot of freaking food, man. I had so much food and I was able to like literally meal prep with one of the dishes and eat it for days and days and days. And it was so good. So fun. Um, it was just such a great time, man, for more than just like, oh, I have food. I got to cook with my girlfriend and I got to eat really healthy. And the, the portions were amazing. Um, and I was like truly blown away. I was like, oh my God, I want to just live off of only HelloFresh and I'll be the most healthy version of myself of all time and save money. Um, you guys, go to HelloFresh.com slash Pine16 and use code Pine16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. That's HelloFresh.com slash Pine16 using code Pine16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. You guys, I don't even, I don't even, I'm tr honestly, I don't, I shouldn't need to convince you. HelloFresh is amazing and they've been a longtime supporter here. So if you want to support us and you want a way to do that, that uh, also provides something for you um, and has so much to offer. HelloFresh is the way to go. Support yourself, support the podcast, and support HelloFresh because we love them and they are truly incredible. Thank you, HelloFresh, for sponsoring today's episode. Enjoy the pod. Yeah, man, it's been a beautiful fucking week being here. I've loved being here and so grateful for you to have us, man, because like I know having people over is, uh, can be great for a couple of days and then like, get the fuck it out. It becomes a hurricane. Get the fuck out. And I just like want to... I'm literally thinking nonstop because Lauren's back on Sunday yeah. and I'm like, when, when will I have time to straighten things up and clean things yeah. before she gets here? We will easily tag team with you. Cool. I think done Sunday I'll morning. You know, I love to vacuum. You know, I'll be our vacuum boy. Lucas will lick 
the everything Look, clean. Everything clean. Yeah, he'll this dust guy's, it off. This guy's got a tongue. He's shaking his tongue right now. It's seriously fucked. Lucas is behind the camera and he's going. And it's and it's wild. It's going it's going all over the place. I wish you guys could see this. It's like it's at least a three foot radius around him. His tongue just swinging, dude. Yeah. Um. And what he's doing is he's la- he's putting down the first layer of saliva yeah. that's going to eat away at all this all the scum. Oh, fuck! Because it has it's acidic, acidic, pro- it's properties, acidic properties. It's acidic properties. And then he goes through and he switches it to yes, does. more of a base. Yeah. And then he's able to balance it out. So we have actually a perfectly pH balanced, clean house. Hmm. Yeah. Yep. It's a genetic. It's a genetic mutation. It is. Um, it's beautiful. It's actually his 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 mutant gene. Mm-hmm. He's one of the X Men. He is one of the experts. Dude, and his, his fucking mutation is just... Saliva man. Cleaning saliva. Saliva man. It's not acidic enough to actually melt through anything, just grime. Yeah, just like, uh, uh, just enough to be able to clean things. Like fucking... And it has a nice kind Clorox. of lemon, lemon pledge kind of smell to it. He's got Clorox, Clorox tongue. Clorox tongue. He is, gives bad head though. Yeah, because it, 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 it is abrasive on the on the dick Burns. hole. It leaves a lot of pain and, and, and rashing mm-hmm. on your dick too. You know, yeah, but, it is. It's irrational. But this guy can fit twelve inches down his fucking gullet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's going like this now. He's like, easily, yep, yep, easily, yeah, yeah, I can, I can, I easily can, I easily can, dude. Um, mm-hmm. what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. What were you gonna say, man? Up you were cl- cleaning up with Sunday for Lauren. I think that was end of thought. I think that was end of thought. Yeah, for cleaning up with Lauren. I-, I got you. For um, you audio listeners right now, if you're wondering. Where this is, this is an in-person podcast two oh, yeah. in a row. So I'm at James' this. house right now, so you're going to want to watch this. See us boys in person, just loving each other, man. Uh, we've got some animals in the background here. Now, I suggested animal attacks, violent, violent animal attacks, um, and we found a middle ground where it's there just animals, no are attacks. animals, but no attacks. Yeah, and what we've got here behind us... Oh, this us, one's pissing, actually. We've got... Oh, my gosh. This one's pissing. And we've got two little friends here. Oh, that, no, that's cute. One white, man. one black. How about that? That's really cute. That's beautiful. And they're just going to pull any... Did I ever tell you the story of the stork? Um, Sounds boring. No. Okay, it's how me. it was born. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, then it is boring. Did I ever tell you story? Boring. That sounds boring. Tell me about, um, the, tell me about the, the flower. I might have told you this. So in college, Lauren and I... Smoked a little weed. We went to Golden Gate Park in San Francisco. Beautiful fucking park. Oh, you park. guys probably are really horny there too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we're just fucking chilling on like the grass. And I see this fucking, fucking bet you were, blue, man. like, I think it's like a blue heron. You know, like oh, one of the tall, yeah. literally they're like that gr- They're like gray like a tall, and long. Mm-hmm. And they, they tall, skinny bird. Yes. Yeah. Long beak, long yeah, neck, long legs. Many blue herons. And he was life. just kind of walking on the grass. And I'm high, and I'm just watching him. And he he kind of notices something, and I'm like, "Oh, was he gonna grab a worm?" And he just goes into the ground with his beak, just like stabs into the ground with his beak, and pulls out a fucking gopher, this big, a, a blue fucking heron. Yeah, I've only ever seen they're them like this tall. Go for fish, dude. Pulls out a fucking gopher. Oh, a blue heron. They're, they're not that tall. No way. That couldn't have been. A well, blue whatever heron. bird this was, it was a stork Maybe or something. It was like heron. you know one of the lo- long, tall fucking birds. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's call it a blue heron. For, Let's call for it a blue sake. a blue bird. Let's call it what it is. A blue bird. Let's a call it what bird. it is. It's a bird. It's right? a bird. And it fucking pulls out this gopher and just goes, oh, oh. swallows it whole. Oh, the biggest fuck. fucking, at least the size of this mic, oh. going through the size of a neck that's a garden hose. Now imagine what it could do to my dick. Oh, bum. Oh. It would swallow that oh. shit sideways. It would suck you sideways, oh bro. Oh my God, And it man. swallows this fucking gopher, just stuck in its neck, and just walks away. And I was just like... The gopher's like chewing through its neck, and it's like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even... What would that out? gopher be experiencing? Ultimate trauma. Being eaten alive. I don't know if that stab with its beak killed it or just like yeah. move the dirt to like grab it and pull it out. Good gravy. Um, Dude. He's going to want to get exactly where you oh, are. Oh yeah. He's going to want you to move, <laughs> Lucas. He's being real nice about it too. Uh, can you but actually But a little bit move? passive aggressive. Very passive aggressive. Yeah. As much as Vinny can, which is, it doesn't come off as passive aggressive, but he believes he's being passive aggressive, but he's just being a little sweetheart. Now... I want to. And his his like little smile, like his just natural face looks kind of smiley. It's like kind of aw- awkward. He like gets up and he's just like, <sighs> he's kind of like and this. Pops dude. down. <sighs> no, he's sweet. He's, he's not he's, awkward. That's he, not he's a, sweet a little face. awkward. That's not a sweet face. What you were just Hang doing. On. What are this? <laughs> a little jokery, man. I think it sometimes is. I don't think it sometimes is. When he's anxious, but he's happy. I don't you know think he's, I don't think, I wouldn't consider 
Vinny jokery at all, man. If there's here, let me Joker's t- look, cool, look, look, look. dude. You're taking offense to it. Let Joker's me fucking tell you cool, guys man. something right here, right now, on the record. All right. Don't do Joker impressions, man. Yeah. Don't put on the Joker makeup and do the do you want to see these Except stars. Unironically. Don't do that. You wanna know why? Because that's one fucking stone's throw away from being an incel, man. Leave it to fucking Heath Ledger, bro. Leave it to Beaver. Leave it man. to Beaver. Um, I actually wanted to get a play by play from you, James. You guys, so um I was on the phone with James and I believe I was here. I had gotten here and he was on his way home. And he had been working all day, lifting and lifting and lifting and putting things down and, you know, do, picking up things and putting things down yep. and sweating and really putting in the fucking work. And he's coming home and he's, oh, yeah, he's got big muscles. Shit, he's flexing bro. his muscles right now. Now, James experienced something in traffic and oh my I love when James gets so mad over things that like are like the classic thing we're like come on man like the average person come on man but when james is in the right state of mind and, and i call it the right state of mind because i love it and it's, he gets, it's a lot more he gets rare now because so, i so no rare. longer it's so rare i've worked through my anger problems yeah. you but, know what I mean? but now it's a treat especially mm-hmm. if it's not directed at me and which it was it never has hilarious been. it was so funny so i'm gonna let james tell the story but he even when he was telling it back to me when i experienced it because i was on the facetime with him his memory of how mad he was is 75% less mad than he really was. You were so, Dude. you were yelling at the top of your lungs in the car. Go. Okay, so it's one of those things where when, when something, when you're faced with a situation that is just so baffling. Inconveniencing and, 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 and stupidity. And, and you just can't believe that it's happening to where you have zero, excuse me, you have zero excuse patience. You. Excuse you. You know, yeah. it's like, excuse you. Oh, excuse excuse you. you. Excuse me. Excuse you. You just have zero patience for the situation that you're witnessing. Especially having worked such a hard, long day. Dude. And, you're, you and I'm home. trying to go home and I'm literally, I turn, home. I turn onto my street. Clay had FaceTimed me right before and I'm literally like, yeah, I'm turning onto the street. So I turn onto my street and s- slow because it's a turn, right? And there's this like kind of driveway area on the on the street with like a gate. So it's not like an actual driveway to a home. It's like a driveway that li- led to a gate that isn't open. Right. And so there's this car. And that's, you t- tell them what side they're on. Give them the whole. So, so they I'm can really and, see and, it. and my street is a little narrow. You kind of have to slow down and like cars pull over a little bit sides. to have other cars pass and whatnot. Gate um, on his right. So I that's pull closed. in and and I'm I turn onto the street and and this car that is turn on the street left or right. I turn left onto the street. Perfect. And this car is nose out in this driveway kind of turn in. On the right. On the right. In front of you. And in front of me. Yeah. And there may be three or four car lengths ahead of me yeah. from when I turn onto the street. And I turn onto the street fully. I am now on the street. And then they start pulling out. Mm-hmm. And under, you know, maybe you didn't see me. That's fine. You stop. You say, and they were oh, going sorry. to pull left to go beside And they want right? to go. So here's my car, right? This is the mic is my car. Yeah. They pull out. Guys, there's a lot of ways that you can take care of your mental health. And it's something that we don't always prioritize because life just happens. And then suddenly you're freaking out and you don't know how to deal with yourself and you're talking to your friends and, you know, which is amazing. Talking to your friends helps so much. It's certainly something that... I do when I need to like vent and just like work on my mental health, but there's so much more that you can be doing. You know, we work on our bodies and go to the gym to build our bodies up, but you need to do the same with your mind. You need to go to that mental gym and better help can help you with that. For example, how well would you take care of your car if you had to keep the same one for your entire life? That's how our brains work. So why don't we treat them that way? How we care for our minds affects how we experience life, so it's important to invest time and care into keeping them healthy. There's plenty of ways to support a healthy brain, like learning a new language or taking power naps. There's also BetterHelp Online Therapy. Um, I had, uh, again, the pleasure of utilizing BetterHelp uh, for some of my first therapy ever, and it has been a beautiful experience, and I was given right off the bat so many tools from my therapist um, to deal with the things that I'm dealing with and and, uh, get to know my therapist so they can get to know me. And uh, they've been amazing. They've been uh, truly like uh, uh, something that like I regularly realize I need in my life 
um, and has been so good for my mental health. BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat online therapy sessions so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. It's that quick, and that's what I did. The moment it happened, I was like, boom, let's do this. I want to jump in. I want to fortify my mental stronghold because that's what it is, man. You need this thing to be a stronghold, so solid that you can deal with things because we overthink, we misinterpret, we get angry, we get emotional. And without dealing with these things with the proper tools, um, it can really mess with your whole life. And BetterHelp can give you the tools that you need to keep this thing locked and, and feeling dialed in. Our listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash pine. That's betterhel dot com slash pine. Thank you so much, BetterHelp, for sponsoring us. Um, I love you guys and I appreciate you and, uh, and I need you. And it, you've been so good to me and uh, it, I see so much value in it and I recommend therapy to anyone who needs it. Um, sorry, not that anyone who needs it, anyone at all, because everyone needs it. Um, whether you think you do or you don't, it's only going to better you. So thank you, BetterHelp. We love you. Guys, go use BetterHelp. And I slow down and like break because of it. And they go like this. And there was no to room try for to them squeeze to around it. my left side. And they're getting within inches of my car. And I, at first, I'm just like, what? What am I? What am I seeing right yeah. now? What the fuck? This you is the dumbest the thing I've ever right fucking now, the seen. Short fuse. Oh my god! I was sizzling. And then as it didn't get any better, exploded, dude. And I was just like, I was baffled because all they had to do was simply wait. Wait, one and I would have passed. But they pulled out at the at the worst possible time, and then doubled down on it and kept fucking going. And they were like trying to squeeze around, and I'm like just there because I had just fully stopped at this point and they're trying to squeeze and I was like what are you doing what are you doing what are you doing and I'm like pull like motioning to her to like be like back up and get the fuck yeah. out of the way very Cause angry because this is the amazing. dumbest fucking thing it was so dumb I have very little patience for bad drivers yeah. because it's and, such an easy thing to do and obviously you were aware that like it was a mistake they thought they could get around you and they couldn't but the fact that they didn't recognize that when they realized oh I can't and fix it yeah, it just and they just like froze. Yeah, and then I was like motioning to her like back up easily the way that you came, because that's the only way you can go. Yeah, and then she just kind of like motions like for me to like go around her, and I was you like, couldn't have, and I was like, and yeah. I, so at that point I literally because like I said she was wrong. I was she was she, so wrong and the, so stupid. The correct answer. I literally which said is, which is her back backing up, up the way you went. I'll be gone forever. You and that's the right again. answer. And then she said, no. And then she goes you like, you go up. around. And so she was so nonchalant about it. She was like, and I was like, roll down my window because at this point, yeah. I'm so baffled with how and stupid this was. And he's cursing and swearing and And yelling. I literally like rolled down the Back window. the fuck up. No, that's not how I did it. With the window I up. Roll the window and the window that's up. fine because that's for you No, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Roll down the window and I literally leaned out and I was like, hey, back up right now easily. Yeah, like easily back true. up right now. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. And then she was just like, can you just go around? And I was like, I don't remember. I probably blacked out at that point. I, you did. And you, you said, no, back up now, back up. And then I think it happened. And then she like inched forward more. So I had to like squeeze around. Oh, you did have to squeeze around. I did have to squeeze around. Holy shit. I literally ended up having to squeeze around. And then I was like, I, I literally was like, you're, you're fucking so stupid. This is the dumbest thing ever. Yeah. And then, um, she literally, I think, I, I think she was just like so stoned Super or something high. because like, it, I, I couldn't, I can't understand that. It was, the, it was wild, dude. Yeah, and it was hilarious. You think if you were high, like weed high, which we're talking about cause she was chill, unless it was some Xanax, but it, you think the result would still be like maybe a little bit more of like, oh fuck, 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 fuck. I got to get out of this. Honestly, Instead you know, of like man. Going into this problem and deciding I'm going to do it my way. Like what high, what <sighs> chill high would make you a fucking person do that? A completely apathetic. Yeah. You know? Totally. She was uh, totally apathetic. clueless. Completely. She was completely clueless. Yeah. And then doubled down on her stupidity. Yeah. No, no shame. No shame. No awareness. None. No no room for growth. No. As a person. <laughs> literally, dude. That put them back a couple of years. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. But it was hilarious. It was very It was funny. literally, it was like so funny. Mm -hmm. As I was experiencing it and I was so mad, I was also like, this is so funny. Yeah. This is like some shit 
This is some once in a lifetime shit, dude. This will never happen to you again, dude. You got to enjoy this. You got to take this in. What would another it, funny thing happen? Real quick, if we look at that situation, was there an opportunity of growth for you that you did or didn't take? Um, sure, I could have practiced patience, maybe. Yeah, I could have been a little bit more patient. But obviously, we can't always do that. And no, it's so normal to. I could have be absolutely to. been a little bit more patient, but I was so yeah. baffled after an eight-hour day of physical labor in Burbank, which was 105 degrees that day. Yeah, this guy works so the glory close. hole. He works the glory hole in at Burbank. Monster. <laughs> Eight hours. Eight hours of people fucking your mouth through a weather, glory man. hole. And I was so close to being home. Yeah. And we had shit that we wanted to do and work on. And like, it was just this last obstacle yeah. in front of me. And it was such a dumb one. So dumb. Yeah. Sometimes stupidity can just push you to the edge. Like if you're exhaust you just sometimes don't have the patience most people don't have the amount of patience it takes to be patient when they're at their wit that's fine wits man end. you know what man and you know? that's fine because like, what i mean i'm saying like i probably would have been like no one's perfect back no. the fuck up no, just back up just yeah. back up hey back up back up no reminds this isn't me, me reminds me of another story yeah another james road rage story i love james road, I, road head probably stories. 2018 back when we lived in the valley yeah and uh steve and i we're going to McDonald's right by the old house, like over on Ventura Boulevard. Yeah. And the Encino house. Yeah. Yeah. And so we turn on a Ventura and then like get over to the left to pull into McDonald's and the light, like the opposite way traffic yeah. right over there was red. So like cars were starting to stack up and obviously I'm there waiting to turn left. in. So whenever that happens, when there's traffic, you stop and leave room for the person to turn. Yep. That's standard. This, it's illegal to block the intersection as well. It's not the intersection. It was just like, it's like oh. a common courtesy where like, if this person is trying to turn left and obviously the cars in front of me are stopped, I will stop sooner so that this car has room to turn. Yes, and of I'm not going to pull up to the car in front of me and where this car's right next to me trying to turn left and block them. Yes, of course. You know what I mean? Like simply. And that's what happened. This fucking dumbass just easily saw me and just like to a crawl fucking slowly just like keeps moving forward and yeah. forward and forward until it unblocked. And I was just like, ba another situation, just baffled, baffled by the stupidity, stupidity and of it. And arrogance. And, and, and I literally was just like looking right at him and I rolled my window down and I was like, Hey, and he like looks at me. I was like, back up. Yeah. And he's like, looks and kind of assesses the situation. He was like, and I was like, back up. And he goes <sighs> and backs up. <sighs> Dude, I rarely and Steve get, thought that was so funny. And he was like, dude, never have I ever seen anyone do something so commanding. Dude, <laughs> those are the moments. There are very few moments where that happens to me. If I'm protecting my friends or family, I become equally like that. And sometimes in fucking traffic, bro, when it's, someone it's fucks with literally, me or like... It's road rage, man. And it's the worst thing ever. Oh, dude, I and I don't story. like road rage, but I, th I have very little patience for bad drivers. Because Here's it's so easy to drive and be aware of your surroundings. And if you can't, you shouldn't be driving. Shouldn't be driving. So here's a story where I became commanding like that. And I'm listening. I, I'm, I'm going to get water. And I was talking. wrong. And I ha apologized afterwards. And I would say 80% of the time when, I'm, when I get into that zone where I have to be like, I'm just so mad and confident and I know I'm right and you're wrong and I will fucking tell you how it is with the most conviction you've ever seen i'm usually right i usually don't fuck up this time it was bad man so we're at the uh we got the opportunity to go see um what's her name a mgk was the headlining but we went to see avril lavigne because she's dope obviously and willow was opening and we're we're very close because we got some pretty good seats and we're standing um probably four seats away from from the, the first row mm -hmm. and uh, everyone's standing and uh, I'm with Dill and we're standing there and we're listening and stuff like that. And um, I'm feeling this guy's fucking like this fucking, he kind of looked like Mac Miller and he's just like chill and he's just smoking a fucking joint. <sighs> just so like confident and like, it felt like arrogance, but like I didn't think it was arrogance until I started feeling him like kind of just like ac accidentally fucking t bump my shoulder and stuff like that. And immediately when that happens and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, you're standing too fucking close to me, man. And I'm just kind of like, 
Now, I'll like instantly when that happens, I transform into like, I'm not fucking moving. And in fact, I'm going to get a little wider. So you fucking feel me and you know, you're too close to me, dude. This isn't comfortable for either of us. And he didn't even fucking care. He was like totally cool with it. And I just got more annoyed. And I'm just like, holy fuck, man. And it just kept happening, kept happening. And then I was like, hey, man, can you move over? Can you move over a little bit? I'm standing in front of my seat here. And I, because while I, before that, I was looking down, I was like, he's literally standing like halfway in where my armrest is, his, his ass crack is aligned with that. So half of his body is in my standing section in front of my seat. Perfectly divided. Perfectly divided, dude. Yeah. He built, we could build a wall here for me to fucking not fucking Perfectly see Perfectly balanced as all things so should I was be. Like, uh, it was loud as fuck. I was like, hey man, can you move over? You're bumping me and shit. Uh-huh. And then he's like, why? I was like, yeah, just can you move over a little bit? And then he like was like annoyed with me. And then I was like, and she's like, what happened? What's going on? I was like, he won't fuck it. I just told him to move and he just brushed me off basically. And I was just like, and then um, she's like, I, I don't think she said anything. I think I looked down and I realized I was like, I'm standing in my seat and I realized I'm standing in front of his seat. Somehow we had gotten yeah, you shuffled shifted. over yeah. to his seat wow. and he was just, he just didn't, he was cool with it and didn't care. That he, I was bumping his arm. Dude. And I mean, he was and, bumping me. And but. telling him to move. Yeah, move Can over. You move? And he like looked over and he's like, why? Did you apologize? He was so high. And then as soon as I realized that, I was like, hey man, I'm so sorry, dude. That was dumb. I didn't realize I was standing in front of your seat. I thought this was my seat. And he was just kind of like, yeah. Dude, he, he didn't give a fuck. No. He was so high. Like he Bro. was so high. But I was like, God damn it. I was like, normally when I feel this fucking conviction, it's it's for the right. And then I was like, what a waste of energy of energy and confidence. At least you owned like, up to it, man. Yeah, and of course I, I would every single time. I was like, I'm so sorry, dude. Like I, 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 I was, what's up? I didn't realize how we got what's shuffled up? over. Oh, yep. See you, man. Sorry about that, brother. You got a problem? No, 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 no problem. Sorry, but oh, my bad. I'm my bad. Look, look, NGK. Awesome, dude. Are we friends. Don't touch oh, me. My bad. My bad, brother. You want to hit this? Yep. Okay. My bad, You brother. fucking wish. Yeah. Move over. Okay. Moving over. You want to come home? Yep. Where are we going? You want to come home? Yeah. Please. please. Where are we going? All of this was a ruse because you I love you. You want to come home? Nope. Okay. Go ahead. And hut. Here, hit this. Okay. No. Oh, you got me again, man. Loser. Like a disrespectful thing. I keep doing that in front of my girlfriend and everything. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> we're having a good time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ow. Just like <laughs> so oblivious, dude. <laughs> I'm skunk, by the way. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. I'm skunk, by the way. Ooh, what's your name? <laughs> right on. Rude, rude, rude. So rude. <laughs> anyway, so that was one that I, I fucked up. Um, but you know what? I'll, I, it happens to me you know, a lot when I'm, when I'm driving. Sometimes you fuck up, man. Dude, oh, I get so annoyed. I think no, I, I don't. But I think I take out maybe my frustrations of like if I'm not feeling confident and stuff like that. 100%. When someone wrongs me on the road and I... You throw, 100% condescend and belittle them and they, you belittle <laughs> their intelligence because you need in that moment to feel better than them. Dude, this guy, I don't even remember what he fucking did. No, that's not me. Oh, I remember what happened. This guy cut me off and then I started like, I was fucking pissed off because it was like a, kind of a, a dangerous movie. Didn't I? I was like, what the fuck, bro? Are you fucking kidding me? And then I like looked at him and he just like looked up and like fucking glanced back. Oh. And then I fucking with all the devil's energy, literally driving, staring into his mirror for five straight minutes. And I was like, yeah, yeah, you're going to do that shit. And he was just so arrogant. And I was just fucking like, and then the moment I got to just fucking, and I don't know why that's so stupid. It, it really is. It's such a waste of energy. So stupid. When you really think and, about it. And, a, and like even the stories that I told earlier. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 It's all dumb shit. But like you guys, and watching, honestly, if you haven't I feel experienced like, it, there's a chance you'll probably have a moment like that. And you'll, then you'll be like, Oh, I know exactly. What I think talking every about. single human being who drives has experienced that. Yeah. And, and, Looking back, I feel like I was definitely taking the, my anger out. The way, yeah, yeah. Like I for know sure. I was. I was like, oh, I'll fight you, you and I know that, it'll never happen. That but expression, man. You need that. You need that, that driving, and that's how car accidents hey, happen, man. And honestly, if I think about it, no, I do that on my own too. I was gonna say, you know, the one that happened yesterday. I had you on Facetime, and the one at McDonald's. It would have happened, with Steve. But then, yeah, I was just thinking about. it. I was like, did I do that just because they were there, and I felt more like 
free to like be able to like yeah. express that. And then I was like, no, because I've absolutely done shit like that on my own too. I remember I've probably told you guys if you've been watching the podcast for years and I've told you this when there was this guy who on the plane, these group of fucking big jack dudes who are going to beat the shit out of me, airdropped a picture of their dick to everyone on the phone. And then I fucking just snapped. Mm -hmm. I snapped. Walked up to them kind of like... Yo, who, who, who did you? Which one of you sent that picture of your dick on the phone on the thing? It was like, oh, they're like, oh, look, dude, that was Brad. And then I fucking, I said, don't fucking ever do that shit again. Are you fucking kidding me? Fucking send that shit to everyone in the fucking plane, bro. Don't fucking ever. Honestly, do that again. what if there were, they were fucking like, teens or kids with iPhones that like got that? No, it was. It, oh yeah, literally. No, do. People's is wives, that not sexual people's harassment? People's significant others, elderly people. There were children on the on the fucking plane. Like I was so fucking disgusted and offended by that, bro. And I fucking snapped. And like I was still like polite, but it was like that's like the definition of like learned. absolute fucking stupid, arrogant frat boy shit. Yeah, dude. they were like thirty five year old. I would have like, that fool. Super rich, like playboy fucking guys, and they just all shut the fuck up. And the guy who did it was still coming off the plane. And I was just, then I fucking walked away and I was like, oh my fuck. I was like, I was vibrating. I was vibrating after that. Like, Dude, I, I have my moment. Then you probably, have you even, have you ever seen me like that? Have a moment like probably, that? Probably. Probably. Yeah. It happened um, one time with a bully at my brother's school and I told him, and I meant it. Didn't you say you'd, you'd split him I in half? I told him I would snap him in half. <laughs> with the, and I looked him in his eyes. With and then conviction. He, he started cowering and then saying that. No, 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 no don't break you, me. You, dude, your brother, was, your brother was fucking messing with me. Your brother was messing with me. Trying to make it like he was retaliating. No, my brother wasn't. And, and dude, the, that's when you pick I him said, up don't like fucking Bane? ever come near my brother or fucking talk or look or even say his fucking or name think, ever or even again open your eyes in the or morning. i will I want literally you to sleep forever <laughs> and it, what's amazing was in high school i was known as the dude who was doing mma which was amazing and like inspired with my friends and everyone would always i was i wouldn't take it too far but everyone was annoyed that they couldn't like play fight with me because mm -hmm. they couldn't even like have fun that's so funny and i loved it but dude, like i love that everyone knew you play I, fight I could too hard i didn't even play fight too hard it's just like even if it was like a soft punch, just they'd just end up being like, oh, 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 man. You know what I mean? They were just like, come, come on. Like, just, just. But it was really fun to be that. And then also then have a moment where I was able to like mean that I will kill you. Yeah. And that kid was like, you but know. the fear he, got him, man. The guy who was the bully definitely came from a terrible, terrible, that classic bully of like, the guy was actually short, kind of stocky, like just a piece of shit. Like definitely never had a girlfriend. Yeah, an ugly little Smoked loser. Weed and just fucking like was just like a little fucking asshole. Yeah, an ugly little shit. loser. And to make himself feel better, would take it out on like yeah. skinnier, like nice guys. Like my brother was like skinny and and like really smart and had glasses and like you know what I mean. Just had a, had his couple dick. friends, big old dick on him, and uh, he was an easy target, dude. But he like. That dude and that fucking, bully actually only had the head of a dick. Oh, for he sure. had no, dick. no, for real, the head stick. of a dick. But dude, that dude fucking and a couple other people like terrorized and it just, my brother and it for just, years. Dude. And when he got hard, it wouldn't. There was no length. It would just yeah. puff up. Yeah. Oh yeah. It would puff like up. a little fucking like a marshmallow. Fucking blowfish. Literally. And it's full spikes? of air. Dude, bullying. I, I there's a part of me that understands that like there's some amount of hazing from older grades and stuff like that that does toughen you up. Um, but there's also like a line of like where. It, it's damaging someone and, and killing their confidence and making them feel like no and one traumatizing likes them. them and, and, and totally and traumatizing absolutely them. destroying their identity and their fucking experience because like you're taking away this person's fucking school experience yeah and, yeah. and literally affecting and think about the lack of respect you then easily that person who might be just a great person who gets bullied like crazy and it just everyone subconsciously even people who like that kid lose respect for him even subconsciously because like then they become that fucking person, just a fucking, yeah. you know, and, and it sets the bar that this person can be picked on. When I say, I understand the idea that like some bullying is good. I am against no, bullying, it's not bullying in its entirety. And it is not bullying is good. Bullying is not people good. don't. The people who are like, I think like it's good. People should get bullied, man. Those people are no, not that, that about comes the, from an era of toxic masculinity yeah. where, uh, I wouldn't be the man I am today if I wasn't bullied. Okay. It's like, but the thing is like their own, the only part of truth to that is probably a 5% uh, of what bullying is. Again, I think it's healthy for, it's not bullying. I think you're 
misstating that. It's not saying that bullying is good. Having jokes at your expense that like kind of hurt you a little bit, but force you to toughen your skin a little bit for sure. Yeah. Bullying is, is harassment and like, dude, dude, fuck, fuck a bully. There was nothing. Fuck a bully's mom. Bullying and people who are rude. Yeah. Lucas knows what I'm talking about. Bullying and people who are rude to people, um, for no reason for like so long in my life until I just didn't experience it anymore because you only surround yourself with good people. But that shit used to make me so incredibly angry even to talk about because it's so unnecessary. And I don't understand because I was like, it feels so good to be nice to people. Even if you don't really like, like someone and you're just nice to them, like that feels good to be nice to people. It makes them feel good. If you're mean to someone like it, there's no part of me that has any understanding of how, being mean to someone not like the odd joke that like of course there's a natural like it makes you feel like to gain approval from people around to like make a joke at someone's expense when it's not crossing lines but that crossing line bullying and being rude it's like how does that make that person feel it you're telling me that i'm supposed to think that that person feels good doing that like okay how, look how it's an immature way of expressing f- feelings of anger and pain and trauma but it's not until that person matures or learns where they realize that that's wrong and they make it good. You know, they yeah. like apologize or shit or whatever. Dude, I, but I, I literally feel like it's, it's a, to me, it's a sign of, un, of, of lack of intelligence. Yeah. Like it's an unintelligent thing to do to be Emotional mean to somebody for at sure. At the very least, you know? And like, cause there's different ways of bullying and hurting people like, you know, it's not always physical. It, it can be mental, psychological, emotional, you know, like, and even you see people that like are in positions of positions of power, positions of power, um, who belittle people and hurt people's feelings. And, yeah. you know, and that's a different form of that. Those people never fucking learned. So they might be intelligent and successful and mm-hmm. have gotten far in life, but they're pieces of shit. No one likes them. And it's, it's, it keeps going. I have a story that I've not ever told about. And it's actually you Told me or on the pod? Uh, it's not like a, a story that was ever like worth bringing up other than for like an entertaining conversation within this context. Oh, look at this little fella. Oh, yeah. He's fucking hot. Wow. But anyways, so in when I was really young, like grade three, four, five, maybe all the way up to the sixth grade, there was this girl. Um, I think her name was Kayla. And... Berthilda. As being an adult now, I can see so clearly what it was. There was something, uh, and it sucks. Like, it just fucking sucks. It was like this, but like, everyone just thought she was like disgusting and she was kind of like dirty and like stinky, hung out with like a stinky, dirty crowd. And she was kind of a bitch, but like, also, she wouldn't have been had everyone not been like mean to her. But like, I partook because I was always class clown. So, my boys, like, if I made fun of her, it would be to make them laugh. And obviously all of this is terrible. And she was bullied by everybody for years and years and years and years and years. And eventually went to, when we went to high school, she went to a different high school from the, like the Catholic school we went to, we went to the Catholic high school. She went to the public. You went to a Catholic school? Yeah. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Uh, in, from the third grade till end of high school. I didn't even know that. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. yeah. And my parents are Catholic. Except I, for my mom. She's a Baha'i. Uh-huh. I'm technically uh on paper, I'm high. technically low gang. I'm technically low gang. <laughs> but anyway, so I, looking back, also maybe I was just a horny kid too. But I also knew that I had uh, feelings of sexual desire towards her, but also thought she was gross. And and I, I haven't fully understood that. Um, she was probably not that gross. She was probably a good looking. She kid. wasn't that gross. That's exactly yeah, what it was. And and you were probably. I was unattracted to what the general consensus of yeah, her was, which she, made she me had this unattracted to image it. of her that was more so probably a social image yeah, than was. what it actually was. She was probably good looking, and you probably fought those feelings because you thought totally that did you shouldn't like her, totally. and then that made you double down totally. on the feeling of bullying Up. easily. And so when I became Lawyered. an adult, and I be- I was probably like twenty when this happened, and like hadn't talked to her since the fucking grade eight. Literally, I remember reaching out on Facebook and just apologizing and being like, hey, uh, you know, like, uh, hope you're doing well. I just wanted to say, like, I've been reflecting on, uh, like, our childhood and uh, going to school together. Our relationship. I just want to let you know that uh, I'm disgusted with how I behaved towards you. And 
um, I'm so sorry for that. I, I'm truly so sorry for that. And you don't have to message me back. Yeah. You know, like we didn't have some random falling out. She just went to a different school, went yeah. to high school. And like, obviously as we got older, people started maturing anyway. So it's probably the worst when we were in the fucking fourth or fifth yeah. grade, but like seven, eight, blah, blah, blah. It probably got less, but she was still probably fucking traumatized from that. And she was like, holy shit. Wow. Like, um, I thought you, you still hated me. And I was like, I, I never hated you. I was a piece of shit. I was a little piece of shit. And I'm so sorry for all of that. And she really appreciated that. And we never talked again, but I, that's a huge, and thing, I didn't though. do that for me. Yeah. Like as much as I know that that makes me feel better, I, I still don't like, I was so, it was, I was so young that like, it doesn't affect me on an emotional level or a data level. I, I like, that was probably the one or two incidences of like me contributing to bullying. I wasn't like her main bully. Like I just probably had my fair share yeah. of, of comments and things like that. That but probably meant a lot to her, man. I've always been, I, I believe like a good person and nice to everyone after like probably the high school, like high school is where I probably became a fucking human who wanted to just be nice to everyone, no matter what. Like I was friends with the fucking most loserly kids in high school. I fucking love them. I fucked with I all, fucked of, all them. of them. Dude, even like, I don't even, yeah, even just like very loserly kids. Like I bonded with them and like talking about World of Warcraft so and funny fucking referring games. Them as and loserly. Like, very, they were very loserly for sure. <laughs> but like all, uh, pretty much everybody. And yeah, I just, same. I remember, I, I, I don't know how it came up. I, I don't, might've been a conversation I'd had. And then I just started thinking about high school. I'm like, oh yeah, I guess I did have like a couple people that I contributed to bullying. We all have, man. And uh, it was like, again, but m my point where I'm going with this is that like, it truly wasn't for me. I was, it was so long ago that I didn't have any like, I need to get this off my chest. Yeah. I was like, I need her because of how much I remember she went through to know that uh, uh, one of the fucking 10 people who made fun of her didn't ever even hate her. Mm -hmm. We were just pieces of shit. Yeah. No one hated you. No one had any bad feelings towards you. Actually, it was just little pieces of shit. Like, and I hope that that did something for her, you know? And that's, mm -hmm. and that's that story, man. That's a good thing, dude. That's and like that's, that's uh, right. a nice thing. I think that's really nice. Yeah. Um, and I think that probably did. Maybe help her, her adult confidence and, and look at the childhood and maybe not, um, have that be something she carries with her in her relationships with people as an adult. Yeah. Like that's what I hoped. Mm -hmm. I hope that like, I hope that she was already over it and yeah. didn't even remember mm -hmm. it. But at the same time, I was like, you know, there's a good chance that that carried with her and how she feels about her confidence and self-confidence with her adult relationships. And um, if I can let her know or, or help her in a direction of uh, help her perspective change of who she is to love herself more, um, May, maybe that will do good for her it, and yeah that's beautiful yeah truly and and like i didn't get anything from that i like and that's i, like I didn't thing. feel like oh, i feel so much better now. and like, i truly yeah. didn't get anything from that i just was thinking about her and how disgusting it was um to make someone feel that way and if i can redact or change any of that then i it was it was the only thing there was to do mm -hmm. you know end of story yeah man you know it's beautiful and, and and God bless America. God bless America. God, God bless, bless Trump. America. Um, you know, God bless him. What's going on in the fucking world today, man? We haven't been on like the internet seeing what's going on in like a week or two, man. Well, apparently there's a new uh, strain. Oh fuck! Of COVID. Yeah, you said that this morning. Yeah, let me let me pull it up because I was interested in it. Joe Biden has COVID. Did he already get it? Interesting. Oh yeah, he's barely there, um, dude. He's just it's called, it's called uh, BA point five. So what? What's the um, severity of it? Is it the same COVID? Just they're saying Let's it's see. really contagious. Or? So um, the most contagious form of COVID yet, the BA point five subvariant, is spreading around the globe, and then uh, Dr. Charles Chu of University of UCSF says, it looks as if we're unable to control it. But here's the thing, and I'm gonna continue reading this so I actually have the oh, facts, yeah, course, but from my understanding, the more contagious a variant is, the less deadly or severe it is, mm -hmm. because the way it mutates is, it's like, it's at the desperation phase, yep. where it's now mutating yep. to spread as much as it can because it's having less and less of an effect because of vaccines that's and herd immunity. That's my knowledge of it as well. And Whether it's right um, that's like with omnivirus, it was, or, Omicron. Omicron um, yeah. It was 
way more contagious, but it was less severe because mm-hmm. it's literally just like, I got to fucking spread as fast as I can and hope that it sticks. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like a desperate, like last legs type of thing. Mm-hmm. But this bitch, hey, COVID, take the L. Take, take the, the L. L, COVID. So um, let me see here. James is uh, scrolling right now, those of you that are audio listeners and trying to see, you know, what's really, what, what, what's going on in the world today? I'm just going to look it up. So that was according to New York Times. I get their newsletter every morning and I read it. Yeah, he gets the, he loves the New so. York Times. And you're a Fox fan, aren't you? Fox News? God, yeah. Yeah. You got to take it all in, man. Yeah. I actually really do believe that. That is like. I don't believe that. You don't think you should hear all the news? Fuck no, both dude. Sides? Fox News is bullshit. No, I mean hearing both sides. Like the idea. It's not. not you're just not. You're not Fox hearing. News. I don't watch Fox News, but I mean hearing. Well, yeah, you should absolutely sides. take in information from all sides. But Fox News is fucking bullshit. Yeah, it's one hundred percent like uh, a caricature, and it's it's like not spreading actual news. It's it's spreading um, extremely biased opinionated perspectives Mm -hmm. on the news. It's Mm -hmm. not telling the news. It's like, here's the rights, like the fringe rights fucking perspective on the news. And this is fact. So let's see. Um, If you you need to read a little bit, I have something that I can jump down with with this for a second. No, I got it right here. So... BA.5 is still classified as an Omicron variant, but mm. has new mutations. That's why it's BA.5. Mm-hmm. First cases appeared in the Northeast, then started spreading to the South, Midwest, and West. Um, dominates the summer wave of COVID-19 in the U.S., making up nearly 80% of new cases. Wow. Um, so it was, it's been in the U.S. since the end of April, mm-hmm. um, but now it's finally spreading. It was first seen in South Africa... Um, first cases, blah, blah, blah. It's been sort of a slow rise since that time. It's taken about two months to get that current state where we think B8.5 probably accounts for about two thirds of all COVID cases. Let's see what it does. Um, my hot guess is it's going to be the same symptoms, but they're going to add delirium, deliria. I just got a funny feeling about it, man. It's got a funny feeling about deliria. I think I'm delirious. <laughs> Let's say severity, yeah. B8.5 variant severity. Um, James is actually playing Pokemon Go on his phone right now. On. Okay. Um, what was I talking about? The severity. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, look I'm for kidding. the uh, symptoms as well. So it says, and this is uh, according to is CNET credible? CNET? Who knows? But let's just read what CNET We're going to read thinks. what CNET says CNET here. Uh, why it matters. BA.5 is causing more inf- reinfection in people who already had COVID-19, including earlier versions of Omicron. It also It's also evading immunity from the vaccines. Yikes. So they'll just have to develop Yikes. another vaccine. Yeah, they just have to put out a new booster. B, uh, BA.5 doesn't appear to be causing more severe disease than earlier variants, and the vaccines are still effective at preventing severe disease and death. So it's it's, just another, just it's evading the prevention of contracting it, but it's the it's the Same vaccine thing. is still Helpful. preventing um, severe symptoms or death. Yeah. Interesanto. Yeah, so Interesanto. Biden just got it. He tested positive Thursday. Um, Good old Biden, man. This, this guy loves to get COVID. It's his favorite thing. When I, when I was a kid, it was in the year 1901. 1901. And I used to ride. It was an amazing thing, man. Amazing I used thing. to ride around on a, on a snail. And I, had, yeah, a, a and I had a best friend, and he was an ant. He was an ant. And <laughs> dude, he had the tiniest little friends with him. Yeah, so it's you know, simple math. look, COVID's still around. We knew that. Um, yeah. It's probably going to be around forever, dude. Yeah, no, easily, bro. We're not going to eradicate this shit. It's going to be another flu. It, it, it like at that level, meaning like it still is going to be going around seasonally. But B 
being vaccinated, being boosted, and and you know, in situations where you're around immunocompromised people, wear masks. Mm-hmm. You know, like be safe, be fucking. At this point, you should be fully aware of all the tools and practices to use in order to be safe with COVID. But I think we're at a point where it's no longer uh, controlling our lives. Mm -hmm. And obviously that's coming from somebody who isn't immunocompromised or um, more susceptible to being hospitalized from getting it. Um, But I know like one of the biggest things for me is that I've been on a lot of sets lately where there's no masks. And like being on fucking sets and productions, it's like one of the most strict fucking... COVID protocols with testing and wearing masks and all that. Oh and yeah. Like, so to see that having been loosen, loosening up the past four or five months, it's a good sign. Mm-hmm. Yeah, truly. Um, I saw this funny uh, bit. It was a comedian's bit. It was like on TikTok, and he's he's like, "This is you know uh, someone uh, waking up uh, you know because like they're trying to freeze themselves to wake up you know two hundred, three hundred, four hundred years later." Right. And he's like. <laughs> And he wakes up and he's like, okay, hey, wait, what year is it? It is 2020. Wait, it is 2350. And he's like, uh, uh, what, what, what about the, the pandemic? We're almost through it. Um, what about uh, um, uh, Brexit? He's like, still happening. It's like all these things. And like, just, yeah. There was another one. He's like, not even close. Not even close. Third one. And Trump? Being Better re- than ever. Being reelected his 87th time. For Trump, he's now 27 years old. Dude, it's just his fucking head on like a hot fucking Dude, like female Toronto. AI body. Dude. He's on Ivanka's body. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. killed Ivanka and Ivanka took her body. Decapitated her and put his own head on there. Mm. I'm going to live forever. Who wants to fuck? Like Seriously, I've never head. had more fun fin-dangling my fucking pussy. Fin-dangling my badussy. My fucking and badussy. My, my favorite part of my vagina is I just grab it. Dude, Dude I... I'm so woke. I was looking at uh, uh, funny moments from SP7 the other day because I was looking for TikToks and I, I totally forgot about this. It was super early. It was the first time I ever met Steve Zaragoza and Steve had me dress up as Alyssa. And, and he so fucked me. <laughs> I was literally wearing a dress and had like a fucking blonde wig on and doing the bro voice and I'm walking down the street and he pans over to me. And I'm like, Steve Z? Uh, no, no, Steve's subject. Oh. But we went to, we went to okay. meet Steve Z and uh, he's like, hey, how are you feeling? And I turned over and I was like, my pussy's mad itchy. <laughs> It made me laugh so hard because I was like, Bro, holy fuck. That, when was that from? I have no memory of that. Like way before we did SB7? Yeah. I mean, it was still becoming, but it was like... Oh, like the know, early we, vlogs. We did like, like 10 like, videos where it was like what SB7 it was bef- became. It was before it was, the like Sugar Punch 7 video. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's so cool. I'd be down fun. to watch those. Dude, me too. The like super early ones. Yeah. For real. Because that's how we like started doing doing something that like clearly worked and felt funny and right and special. Mm-hmm. And then decided, let's, I love how we fell into the narrative of Mm -hmm. like, just like, this is what we think is cool and funny. Let's just do this. It was beautiful. Fucking beautiful. And that reminds me, I have a, uh, a new SB7 video that's about 35 minutes. It's so good. You guys, I I just need to finish it up, but I've been so dang busy. Yeah. It doesn't matter though. When I watched it, I experienced it and I've seen it probably twice already or pieces of it. And I, it was like watching a fresh brand new video that I was excited to see. And it was super funny. I wanted to watch the whole thing. Hell yeah. So there, you guys are going to love it. It's super funny. And, uh, and like, I love the new vibe that we have now of this, like feels cathartic and it feels like, Oh, this is, you know, this isn't like a, a desperate grasp of straws of trying to like revive what SB seven is. It's like, no, this is what SB seven is now. And you guys clearly are fucking with it. And I couldn't be more grateful for that because I love it. And, um, James and I are, are both like when I have more time to, I'm so fucking busy, but like, I want to shoot one Mm -hmm. and do narration and, and express myself in that way too. And like, I'm so excited about that. And I love doing it. Like, it's just, it's so fucking fun and doing it when we want to do it only is, has been dynamite. Yeah, it's it's what it always was and meant to and be. And now that's what it is again. Yeah, um, uh, uh, grown up a little more, you know. Mm-hmm. Still as stupid as ever, though. You guys know this. Yeah, we were bricked this. up the whole time. Oh man. yeah. But on that note, um, we hope you guys had a good time with us today and are enjoying your life in your summer. And we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and see you next week, guys. Thank you for watching this episode. We love you. We appreciate you. And we'll see you in the next one, baby. <laughs> <laughs>